A pleasant good morning to everyone and a blessed Palm Sunday. So I am at church sitting this morning. I'm a few minutes early, so I decided to start off my vlog here. I hope everyone who is um, observing this Lenten period is coming to an end this week. Today is Palm Sunday. I'm here at church and Good Friday will be this week, of course, and Easter Sunday. So go figure, guys. I grew up in a Hindu home with my mom. I took a liking to the Roman Catholic or the Christian religion and started to go to church at a very young age. And go figure, I'm married to a Muslim guy. I'm in a Muslim family. You know, um, my point, I think a point that I'm trying to make, you know, we, no matter what religion, what creed, what race, at the end of the day, you know, we, God created all of us. And we should respect everyone's religion, everyone's um, opinions. We might not like everything that, you know, someone has to say, but that's where respect comes in again. Right? Today's world where it's in a crisis, where we have so much turmoil that's going on and so much of uh, unnecessary killing and fighting and whatever. The effort and time that people spend to practice so much of wrong things, I should say. And if we emphasize and spend it on more love, the world will be such a better place, you know. Um, whether you are Muslim, Jewish, Christian, Hindu, at the end of the day, again, you cut us, us all, blood. God created all of us. You know, we, we bleed the same. And God is our creator. So, again, not to, to carry on too much and like, you know. But it's a blessed morning, this morning. Every day, again, my my theory and my motto is any day above ground it's a blessing so come with me i'm going to go into church i came a few minutes early and um i'm going to go into church and from my service this morning it just feels so tranquil it's a different feeling like when you're here all right guys so join me let's go
finished. Beautiful start to Holy Week. So come on guys. I'm leaving now to go home. And let's go back into the kitchen. I'm going to make some hot cross buns. So come join me back now in the kitchen after our beautiful service in our church. Okay, so let's get started here with our hot cross buns. These are my ingredients. I have everything laid out here. So I have three and a half cups of all-purpose flour there. I have three eggs at room temperature. I have one and a half stick of softened butter over there. I cut it up into cubes. I have a packet of yeast, or yeast as Alana has said. <laughs> I have a half a cup of sugar, red granulated sugar. I have to take out a half of cup of milk. Sorry, not a half a cup, three quarter cups of milk, actually, I'm gonna be using here. I have um, a half a cup of raisin, and I mix the raisins with golden and the regular tart raisins. I have some cranberries here, dehydrated cranberries, which both the raisin and the cranberries, I soaked in a little hot water to hydrate them back. I have some dehydrated blueberries. So I buy all of my dry, fruits from Trader Joe guys you can get all of these dry fruits from Trader Joe Trader's Joe and I zested half of an orange as well as half of the juice I squeezed and I have it here in my little ramekin I'm going to be using also um, a pinch of salt and I'm going to be using a teaspoon of mixed vanilla essence all right so I'm going to start first by heating up three quarter cups of milk and I'm going to add in the yeast into the milk and let it bloom for like 15 minutes with um, a little bit of sugar also I'm going to be adding in into this mixture and I'm going to let it sit for like maybe 10-15 minutes so the milk mixture with the yeast can bloom and I'm going to add in the flour in my mixer soon and start incorporating with the yeast mixture so I'm warming up the three quarter cups of milk in the microwave I set it at a minute and a half and you don't want to warm it you know longer than that because if you do the the yeast when you add it into the milk if it's too hot it's gonna kill the active you know the active germ in the in the yeast so it's not gonna help to rise the rising agent would not work properly all right so I'm heating up the, the milk right now I'm gonna add in next yeast and a tablespoon of sugar into this mixture. Our milk is warm. I'm now going to go in and add in the yeast into the milk mixture. And I also added in um, one tablespoon of granulated sugar. I'm going to mix the yeast with the warm milk and set it aside for like 10 to 15 minutes until it blooms. And again, if you warm the milk, or even if you're using, like when I make polori, I use instant yeast when I'm mixing the polori. If the water is too hot, or in this case, the milk is too hot, it kills the active agent in the yeast and it would never help to raise, you know, help to have that, um, the, the flour raised properly, the, the mixture. So I'm gonna set this aside until it gets a little foamy. Everything's well incorporated here. I'm gonna set it aside here for like 15 minutes. Meanwhile, I have my flour here. I'm going to go in with the sugar and I'm going to use my hook attachment and just incorporate the flour as well as the sugar meanwhile, just on low, low speed. So after about 10 minutes, look at how nice and foamy this is what you want. The yeast has activated here properly. I have the sugar and flour mixture that has been incorporated here. I'm gonna stop the mixer and I'm gonna add in now the yeast mixture in here. And get every drop out of the bowl. Okay. And next I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. So I'm using the smallest of my measuring spoons here which is a quarter teaspoon 
and this just helps the soul just helps to balance off all of the flavors okay and i'm gonna set back my hook and start incorporating again and next i'm gonna add um into the mixture i'm gonna add the eggs one at a time a teaspoon of vanilla a pinch of salt which i just added in these ingredients i'm going to incorporate and last i'm going to add in the softened butter as well as my dry fruits and the orange zest and the orange juice right, so now that the yeast and the flour mixture as well as the sugar has been combined i'm going to start adding in the eggs i have three eggs at room temperature here i'm going to add in one at a time and that's going to start incorporating with the flour mixture. I'm also going to go in with the softened butter. I'm going to let this combine for a little bit. Let me scrape down the side with my spatula while it's mixing. See, everything is well incorporating here. Next, I'm going to go add in my softened butter and the orange juice and the orange zest. Actually, I'm going to add in now the orange juice and the orange zest. And let's add in the butter. I'm going to raise the speed of the mixer a tad bit more. And don't panic if you see the mixture looks a bit on the sticky side. Oh, piece of my butter. <laughs> there you go. Don't panic, guys, if you see the mixture looks a bit sticky at first. You could always add like a quarter cup more of dry flour. Sometimes it depends on the eggs. Um, you may need like a quarter cup more of flour. So I'm going to let this incorporate. And depending on the, if it seems a little too wet and sticky to work with i'm gonna add in also a cup a quarter cup sorry of dry flour into the mixture so after mixing for about i would say two and a half three minutes this is how the dough should look i am gonna add in a quarter cup so i have my quarter cup measurement right here i'm gonna add in a quarter cup more of flour let me stop the mixer for a bit because you want the dough to be soft, it has to be on the soft side, but it has to be manageable where you can work with it. So the flour will help to combine it a little more. I'm gonna also go in now with my blueberries, the dehydrated blueberries, the cranberry mix that I have here, as well as my raisins. So everything is gonna incorporate. And that'll be it guys, once everything is incorporated, I'm gonna sit it, let me wipe my hands on my apron. I'm gonna sit this mixture in a greased bowl, cover with some plastic wrap, and it's gonna um, sit for the rising agent again, the yeast to work. And it'll sit for like an hour, an hour and a half. Then I'll roll it out onto my pastry mat into a log, and I'm gonna cut it and put it into my baking dish. Let it poof again for an hour, and then we'll bake. All right, so let me start the mixer. Well, the fruits are gonna be incorporated here right now and i'm gonna start cleaning up my kitchen with all of my dishes and everything here while this beautiful mixture comes together okay so this is our worked dough with the hook and this is how you want it to look so it's soft enough for me it's very manageable for me to work with i'm gonna put a little dry flour around in the very same bowl. I sprayed one of my bowls here with a little nonstick spray. And I'm gonna take this mixture out, form it into a bowl here and sit it into my sprayed bowl and let it sit to raise now. So again, you want it to be very soft in the sense that it's manageable for you to work with. You scrape down as much of the mixture around the bowl as dust a little more flour if necessary to do so as I'm doing and this now there we go the bowl is clean I have the mixture in my hand this is my sprayed bowl I'm just gonna pull this together isn't it so beautiful it smells really nice and I'm gonna sit it now 
into my sprayed bowl here, cover with some saran wrap and leave it in a warm place to start doubling in size. Then I'll show you guys the next step where I'm going to roll it out into a log, cut it into 12. I think we should get like around 12 of the, the hot cross buns and I'm going to cut it out, put it into my dish and let it sit again to raise for like an hour. Then we're gonna put it into the oven and I will show you guys the glaze. I'm gonna make a very basic um, powdered sugar glaze, which is gonna go actually, I'm gonna make the cross on the cinnamon buns, the cinnamon buns when they come out the oven and it's cooled. Everything's all washed, draining here. I'm gonna pack it away soon. Let's see what everyone's doing in front here. Meanwhile, Aiden is there screaming. Yes, Aiden, I'm looking at you over there. Yes, say hi. hi. We have the famous Auntie Bibi. Just Hello. had breakfast. So Auntie Bibi, you're telling me one of your friends from Canada. What's her name? She was asking about the hot cross buns. So I'm gonna dedicate this episode to what's your friend's name? Valerie James. Valerie James. So say shout out, special shout out to Valerie James in Canada. What part of Canada? And she she is from Ajax. Ajax, Canada. Yes. So Valerie, special good day to you, my dear. Thank you for your loyal viewership on our channel on Anna's Kitchen, and we have your friend over here. <laughs> Kansraji. Kansraji, school friends. It's nice to know that you guys went back to school for how many years you guys are friends? About 40 something years. That's nice. Okay, so that's nice. So I'm doing these hot cross buns also uh, dedicated. It's Easter week here. Good Friday is going to be this Friday coming here. And we are doing these hot cross buns. I'm dedicating this episode to Valerie. All right, hope you enjoyed my dear. Look at it step by step and you'll see how everything is being done, the, the dough, I have just sat it to rest in a warm place there and we're gonna roll it out. All right, so thanks again, many thanks again for supporting our channel and being here with us. And she's a good baker too. Oh, she's a good baker, yeah. very nice, very nice. And you can always comment on our channel and leave like, you know, if you wanna leave like a recipe or a request to do something. I'm not the best of, you know, we're not professional, but we all try here. So that's the, that's the main thing. We always, I'm always open to other people's opinions and uh you know constructive criticism that's and you what say it is. you love our family she loves our family yes thank you very much <clears throat> thank you all right so valerie again as i keep on saying this episode we're dedicating to you from canada so folks after about two and a half hours i stopped for a little bit to make some lunch for the kids look at how beautiful our dough has risen it has doubled in size and this is what we want so now I'm gonna take it out. It smells so nice. Aiden is here with me in the background. He's just chilling. Right, Aiden? Chilling like a villain. Chilling like a villain. And I'm gonna do the hot cross buns in my casserole dish. So this should hold like 12. I'm not gonna make them too big because then we have to put it back into the dish and it's going to poof up again. So let me roll this out onto my mat and see how beautiful it came out. I'm gonna roll this now into a little dry flour around, roll it into a log. So basically like this. And I'm gonna try to cut out 12 pieces for the rolls. See how nice all of the cranberries, the blueberries, the raisins, everything look. How does it look done? It looks like, like cookie dough. It looks like cookie dough, right? It smells like cookie dough also. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna make this into a log. I'll show you guys. So this is what you want the log to look like. This is how it should look, roughly. Or you could just pinch off little balls from the bowl, but I prefer to do it like in the log like this. I'm gonna use my little cutter and let's try cutting to get 12 pieces. So when you cut, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. 
All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yay! Yay. We got twelve pieces. Now all you want to do is take the roll and you're going to pull it. It's not going to be big, that big. It looks a bit small, but we have to leave it to rise again for like an hour. So this will be the first one that's going to go into the dish. One down, pull again, just roll it, make it into a ball. And again, it's homemade guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, it's very rustic. So we just want it to sit and poof up a little more. We have two. So I'm going to continue rolling out all of the rolls here, the, the hot cross buns, I should say, and uh, let it rise again. Let me continue rolling them out and I'll show you guys when it's finished into my dish how it looks. So we got the 12 buns, I rolled them out. I actually changed the bowl that I'm going to use because I have to let it sit and rest again and I don't want it to like poof up too much where there's not enough room next to each other. So I'm sitting it in one of my regular, my bigger baking pans. These are gonna sit again, I'm gonna cover it and sit it again to rest for like an hour. It's gonna poof up even more and I'm gonna use an egg wash and just brush the top of the buns and bake it at 350 for like 25 to 30 minutes. So they're all set here right now. I'm gonna cover back again, as I said. And let it sit so in an hour's time i'm going to put it into the oven and again it doesn't have to be perfect these are homemade hot cross buns then when it cools down i am going to make the cross using my um confectionery sugar i'm going to mix a little confectionery sugar with a little milk and make a glaze to go on this all right so i'm going to cover this here now So after 30 minutes, this is how our hot cross buns look. Look how beautiful they puffed up. I have a beaten egg here with my pastry brush and I'm just gonna liberally dulse the top of all of the buns with the egg wash. I have my oven preheating to 350. And this is going to go into the oven and bake for 25 to 30 minutes. When it comes out and cools down, I'm also going, while it's baking, I am going to make a little glaze. I'll show you guys. Just with some confectionery sugar and a splash of milk. And then we're going to make the cross on the buns when they cool down. But look how nice. See how nice they fluffed up? And again, as I keep on emphasizing, guys, these are homemade. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, it's uh, it's all homemade or homemade stuff we're doing here. So we've got 12 beautiful hot cross buns. Okay, so while the buns are baking, I'm going to start now with the, the glaze for cross so I'm using a cup and a quarter measurement of confectionery sugar and then I'm gonna use three to four teaspoon of milk so I'll do three first and see one two three and let's start, just use the whisk and you can whisk. Yeah, I definitely think that we need some more of the milk. We'll do two more spoons, <clears throat> two more teaspoons of it. Let's see. And we don't need a lot, there's 12. There we go. Now it's coming together. Work those arm muscles. Okay, I'm gonna go with one more because it's a bit thick as you can see. You don't need it like very, very runny, but you don't need it also very thick. This is what we're looking for here. 
You can put this icing into a little Ziploc bag and snip the tip and just make the cross, which I think that's what I'm gonna do. So there you have it guys. This is what the little icing sugar looks like. The icing mix is to a perfect consistency. We don't want it thicker than this. All right, so the rolls are baking. When they're out and cooled, I'm gonna ice in these babies and show you guys. Look what I just pulled out of the oven, guys. Look at how beautiful they came out. So these are piping hot. I just took my serrated knife and just separated them. And they're cooling down now. So like in maybe an hour's time, an hour and a half, I am going to make the cross over the buns and I'll show you guys how it looks. It smells so delicious here in the kitchen. Very soft, look at this. When it cools, I'll press it and I'll show you guys how very soft and I'm sure it's gonna be very good with a cup of coffee or tea. And they're not very small, you know, they sat on the it raised again the second poofing process and look how beautiful they came out all right so i'm gonna leave it at the window here let it cool down i'll show you guys how i'm gonna do the cross next okay guys so let's get to icing these buns they've been cooling for like the past hour and a half i transferred my icing sugar into a little ziploc bag and you're just gonna snip make a very small snip right there to the tip of the bag and let's go in now so now all we're gonna do come straight down from the top And you can make the snip on the bag as big as you like. If you want more ice and sugar, you can make it a little bigger. Okay, I'm gonna turn it this way now. And we're gonna come down. And you see it's not too liquidy where it's not adhering to the the buns and this is gonna set also and it's gonna get hard on the buns and we have the last one and we still have extra ice and sugar if anyone wants more they can always add all right and there you have it guys these are our delicious hot cross buns again it can be enjoyed with a cup of coffee a cup of tea so let's see who's gonna have the first one when this sets for a little bit. So as I was patiently awaiting for someone to come and try the buns, I have two remaining here, which means that's a good sign, right guys? There's two more buns, I gave away a couple of them and of course, I was waiting for Ricky to come and try. So Rick, can well, you try the buns? Happy Palm Sunday to you, my dear. Thank you so much. Your service is very nice. And I said I'm coming home to make some of these delicious buns. Hot cross buns. Well, listen, uh, I believe that, um, and I believe I know that the way things are happening in this beautiful world of ours, we all need and share as much prayers as we can. Mm -hmm. You know, whether your faith would be in the faith of Islam, Christianity, or a Hindu, mm -hmm. or Buddhist, whatever it is. It's, it's an auspicious time for all of us here as, as uh, we could see that there is uh, Holi is going to be coming up pretty soon. Mm -hmm. We're in the month of Ramadan and also for uh, Easter is coming up. Yes, Easter, Good Friday is this Friday coming here. Right. And Easter Sunday is this Sunday right after funny because I remember a couple of years back I was with Danny and um, Al and that's when we mentioned this Amar Akbar Antony and Danny pretty much explained it all when he said that we need to coexist as a people 
and you know put our differences aside and you know live happy and try to be happy so yep. on that note i believe it's at the 13th night of ramadan that we're in now uh -huh. and it's best thing to have you in going to church on palm sunday this week is holy week also yes. so and i support despite me going to church guys and ricky trying our delicious hot cross buns without a piece of cheese he usually has oh, cheese yeah. with it so i am um, sorry uh it is Holy Week, so happy Holy Week to everyone. This week is Holy Week. <laughs> Good Friday is this Friday again, as I said earlier. Too. And um, Easter Sunday, I'll be back in church also, as well as Good Friday. And let, Ricky wants to show you guys the cheese. So that yeah, if, if you guys have a sweet tooth like I do, this ain't going long by itself. I gotta get a piece of this. Yeah. So if you guys shop at BJ's or Costco, you may found, find this there. Uh -huh. It's cheddar. Very this aged, is an aged cheese, aged yeah, it's cheddar, good. It has yeah. like a nutty flavor. And boy, it goes good with stuff like this. So I'm going to slice a piece of this and I'll have it with my cup of tea. Thank okay. you, Anne. You're welcome. All right, so guys, um, of course, I'm behind the scenes here with the camera. I wanted to get it, Ricky, because everybody saw my face throughout this entire <laughs> video. Thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts again for supporting us, for being here with us, all the love and encouragement. Thank you for being on our live it's last Sunday. Um, we really appreciate you guys. Hope you guys had fun and we're looking forward to doing more lives and catching up with everyone. Yeah, let's let's take this uh let's take this to our next level. One menu at a time, one dish at a time. Menu every every yeah, everything takes time. You know, and, we have um, to do baby steps, you gotta creep mm -hmm. before you walk. So um again we are very appreciative of all of the support from everyone. And if you haven't again, please like and subscribe to Anna's Kitchen and we'll catch you guys in the next video. There we go.